All right, everybody, Captain John here. So this video is going to be done Jersey style, which means quick and to the point. Here's the bottom line. The boat went in the water this past weekend. Everything was good, except when I get on plane and start to cruise, the boat starts to buck and act like it's going to stall. So we're going to do two things real quick. We're going to change out our anti-siphon valve because I'm pretty sure the one that is on the boat currently or was, it's actually right here is actually 22 years old. I'm pretty sure this is the original. And the fuel hose we're also gonna change. And this is dated 2014, so this is 10 years old. So this is a quick, easy fix. And let's put it on, get out on the water, test it out, and see if this fixes the problem or not. All right, so we got our pickup. The bottom of it was clean. So this is why I'm switching this thing out now. So there we go. So we got our pickup in. It's facing in the right direction. All right, so now we've got our anti-siphon valve. And once again, I put some 101 on that just to get it in. And you don't want to torque this thing down or anything. I mean, this is just aluminum, so you don't want to break that sucker in there. Just tighten it up, and it'll get a little snug, and that should be good. Again, I'm just going to put a little 101 on here. So I can just tighten up these screws real fast. So we got some more 101 on there. We'll turn to our fuel pump. Let's just slide that on. Just like that. We're going to tighten that screw up. And we're going to get ready to fire this thing up in a second. All right, so we're all buttoned up. Now we're just going to start it up. And I'm not going to put the blower motor on, just so you can hear the fuel pump kick on. There we go. And now that we started, now I'll put the blower motor on. So we'll let it warm up, and we'll head out, see what happens. All right, so I just switched over to my 360 camera now. So because my vessel view is running on my iPhone, so it's a little hard to record and probably run vessel view at the same time. So here we go. I'm going to shove off, and I'll give you the background in a second here. All right, so we're on our way. Not too bad. It only took about 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get everything done. So. The engine's got just over 300 hours. A little background, I got the engine done three years ago. So this will be the fourth summer with this 383 MPI uh, stroker engine. And it ran great the first two seasons. If you wanna know what I did, I did my normal maintenance this spring. If you wanna check out what that included, I did a video on it and you can check that out on YouTube. I've also got another video up there that I did about a year ago. I've only been on YouTube for less than a year, 10 months. Um, and the thumbnail is called, Why Your Boat Becomes a Money Pit. And it's basically three things that I've learned over the course of boating for 20 years that are fixes for a lot of problems. With other mechanics would just throw parts at the problem. So the reason why I went for this right now is I did my filter change, the gas was clean, the pickup was clean, and this just seemed like a quick, easy fix. It just seems like the boat is stalling, um, like it's running out of fuel. So it isn't like, like right now, you can hear it, the engine's running perfect. I get up on a plane, there's no misfiring, it's very smooth. I thought it was running perfect uh, the other day, and then I went out. We were running about 26, 27, 28 miles an hour, and we were just burning 12 gallons of fuel an hour, so we were doing better than two miles per gallon, which is pretty good. Um, I've never seen really this boat do much better than that at cruise speed, and all of a sudden it just started bucking. And you'll see what it does if it still does it. I'm hoping that it doesn't, and this is the last video. Now, one other thing to quickly note 
even if it doesn't do it on this little trial run, that doesn't mean I fixed the problem. Last year when this was happening, I could be out for an hour or two and no problem. And then all of a sudden it would just start doing it. So that's why I'm leaning more towards the fuel issue more than anything else. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens. So we'll do a quick run right here. We're out of the no wake zone. So trim tabs down just a smidgen. We'll see what happens. No misfiring. Back up to 25 miles an hour. Nice and smooth. 27 and a half. And Linda just texted me. You can see, nice and smooth. No issues. So when we went out the other day, it was smooth just like that. Um, we were in a different part of the Barnegat Bay. So um, we were on plane for a little bit longer. And then it started acting up. So we'll see what happens. We'll get around this no wake zone. I'm gonna stop the camera right now and then We'll see what happens when we get up to the next no-wake zone. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do a lot of editing, but you know what? It's just such a nice night out here. It is a little breezy and windy, but heck, I mean, who doesn't love being out on the water on a Monday? No, oops, I thought it was Monday. Yesterday was Memorial Day. Tuesday. So I figured just get a little quick shot. You know what, I'll put the 360 camera up. 360 camera up. You guys kind of pan around. Maybe I'll even do this as a 360 video so you can look around at everything while I'm doing it. This is pretty much where we were the other day. So let's throttle it up. See what the heck happens. in our face. So there's 27 miles an hour. It's gonna happen. Okay, that's 27 and a half miles an hour. 13 gallons an hour. Alright, so we just turned around. Headed back. Now we're going with the wind. The wind's blowing at a decent amount. I mean, it's probably blowing at a good 10 to 15. So coming back, you probably hear the, the sound difference. All right, we've got 3,500 on the RPM, 28 miles an hour, 12.4 gallons an hour. That's pretty freaking good. Back up. Give it a little more throttle. Come it up a little bit. All right, so we're coming out of the no wake zone. So I'm just gonna give my tabs about three little taps. As soon as we get by these markers, give it some throttle. We'll see how we do. Do one more quick run. Yeah. 